Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to some Ring of Pain. I haven't played this in a little while, and oh boy, I should probably do some stuff. So, oh yeah, I have not won on a whole lot of difficulties. I've been doing a lot of Darkstone, and I haven't done a whole lot of Dark Winds. Uh, so I guess let's just do Darkstone, 40% stealth chance, reduce my speed, and medium, and we'll just go from here. Anyway, I'm just going to be loading this game up uh, every once in a while. It's a good warm-up game as far as I'm concerned. And do we want some speed? Yes, because I don't think I want to do Underwear Head again. I do that shit way too often, and I'm starting to feel like a one-trick pony in a bad way. Scale Top is not a bad idea, especially if I can get the Frozen Crown. I'm probably not going to. Corruption or let's go visionary. Just see what our options are. Um, hmm. I only got one potion and it's a mediocre one. Yeah, I can't fight this guy. Well, do we go to the burial grounds? Do we grab our potion? Let's just go to the burial grounds. I'll find what I can or I get wrecked. We'll see. It's been a little bit since I last played this. There we go. Okay, so we got one more one more bad boy. Freeze closest four cards when hit, which would give me an extra two defense. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to dig this, hit this guy, not die. Whew, got close though. And let's get out of here. So if you've never seen Ring of Pain before, it's probably one of the funkier roguelikes on the market and probably one of my favorites. Not actually sure if poison is a good idea. It's kind of good. Let's see, how do I want to do this one? I've got a lot of gnarly dudes. Okay, can kill him. Kill him. Grab this. Do I go for solidarity? Do I go for creepy doll? Or let's reroll the set, see if I get something else. Clarity for every empty inventory slot or... Soul damage to a random enemy. I'm going to go for the bonus clarity. Hit this guy once. Skip to the other side. Oh. Well, that's one way to do it. Yeah, unfortunately, the poison damage isn't quite good enough for my needs. Well, it's okay. I'm faster. And let's just go for, like, one point of damage. This is going to hurt me. If I go here, it hurts me less. Is it worth it, though? You know what? I'm going to pop this. Pop them both. What is this? Oh, it lets me choose. I forgot they made that change. That's a good change. I like it. Doubles next stat boost? Doubles next stat boost. We lose a little bit of freeze, but that's okay. We kill that. We do volatile or reprieve. Always volatile. It's dangerous and could kill me, but it has the good stuff. So let's take a look. Um... Well, I can just kill this guy. I'm gonna just sneak past. Do I drink the healing potion? No, I'm just gonna warp them out. We'll just see what happens. That hurt. A lot. It's okay. I've got this and I've got one of these. Pierce, Shadow Strike, or a Freeze. Let's go for the Freeze, because I've got some spooks. These guys can and will murder me. So I'm just going to freeze both of them. Grab the blue. Extra to healing effects. Does... Hurt my healing. Otherwise, after spell use, plus two petrify to enemies in the front. The problem is I just don't do damage if I do that. So let's just grab this. And while I could fight that, I don't think it's a good idea. And I do not have enough to buy a legendary item this early on. I appreciate that it showed up, though. That's kind of a neat change of pace. Oh, let's grab a bit of defense. Thunder Egg. Each dungeon has an additional small potion. I like that. We lose a little bit of clarity, but fundamentally... That's not 100% what I care about here. And also, as this fills out, that other one's going to be useless. Let's grab, uh... Free damage to target, reusable if killed. Interesting. I'm going to grab the bear trap, though. 
Okay, let's grab this. Double defense. Double that or a little bit of clarity. The clarity is so tempting. But I think I gotta go for the attack. Okay, then we just move. He dies. We grab the healing potion. And then I've got enough that I can just blow that up. Chug a lug. And get out of here. Alright. Oh, a visitor. What do we have? 55. It's not bad. Dungeons... Hmm. Item speed is equal to 10 minus the number of items equipped. Which really it just nets me some extra clarity for 15 souls, which isn't the worst. This, on the other hand, we lose a lot of clarity. Gain some damage. Dungeons have plus two cards plus one treasure, which is kind of tempting. I'm going to just grab Weightless. It's cheap enough. Ooh. 10% stealth chance. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. There we go. You know, I didn't even notice this guy here. I was just kind of on the lam. Alright. Then he explodes. So we need clarity pretty badly. Elsewise, stuff like this is going to mess me up. Let's see what else I can do. We have one of these... Do I bonk that? It doesn't look like we're up against too much, so maybe? And do I toss the bear trap at this guy? Yeah, because I can kill that one. All that leaves is this dude. And he's kind of a non-issue. Okay. Oh! Wait. Oh, I just lose souls, or it heals me. It no longer is damaging. Well, that's useful. Let's grab the bear trap. I'm curious about the rock. I feel like that actually could be really good. In certain builds. I don't think this leads anywhere interesting. I, unfortunately, you're going to hurt me. I couldn't even if I tried. I'm the reason you're alive. It's... Uh... Let's see, do we blow this guy up? Okay, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. That's a nice cascade effect. And we've got a couple of these armored dudes. I'm gonna drop a bear trap on him. We've got a screamer. Now, this guy has Intimidate. Retaliation if attacking first in combat. So my speed gotta be 10 or higher. Okay, get him. And then, this guy's a bit of a doozy. But my poison helps tremendously. Okay. Then I'm gonna gain the speed. Because then I can go back to this guy and kill him. Because he's not that dangerous on his own. Okay, Titanium or Spikes. Let's grab the Spikes. The extra defense is nice and my speed is good. There we go. I missed this game. There we go. Okay, do we have an escapee? I always got to check. Okay, that hurts a bit. I don't see an escapee. Pairing blocks incoming poison. But I like the bonus healing effects. There we go. Uh, summon a training dummy. Not actually quite sure what I'd use it on. But that's okay. Ginseng? Ginseng. Because at this point the catalyst is kind of useless to me anyway. Can I kill him? He would do two damage to me. How much? How many souls is he worth? Five. Nah, I think I'm good. Let's just go to the ambush. Unless the ambush is... Oh, it's one of these. Shoot. Hey, who knows? There we go. It was worth it-ish. Extra curse resistance is very tempting. 
or momentum. Gain, gain knockback for the next turn after passing. I like this bonus stealth, though. Let's go for this. It bust, boosts my damage pretty tremendously. And yeah, the curse resistance is nice. Oh, this is this is good timing. So I could go for, like, Hand of Dog, which would give me 4 HP and some clarity. It would cost me 1 speed. Otherwise, I could do Shadow Hood, which would give me a little bit of speed and a little bit of damage, but it would reduce my damage further. Or just drink potion. Let's go Hand of Dog. It's vaguely useful. More per se, it, it pays for itself. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle. Uh-oh. I think I'm dead. Maybe not. I got incredibly lucky there. Landing on a portal. Oof. Destroy target item or mimic card and gain half its soul cost or create an exit. I always feel like creating an exit is probably the most useful thing I can possibly do. Kill him and then what do we grab? Extra souls on kill, which is really tempting, but that reduced defense is painful. Let's grab Bandana, because that makes me really strong at the moment. I guess I could have recycled that, but whatever. Maybe I should have also considered making an exit, but Finder's Keepers actually works out really well for me. Ki kinda. Problem is, I'm halfway there, living on a prayer, not a lot of HP to keep me going. I'm going to go for the defense for the moment. Grab this. Sneak past. And then warp them away. Thank you, stealth. Okay. And this guy does not actually do a lot of damage. So I can just kill him. Perfect. Okay. Jack be nimble. Jack be not dead yet. Uh, Jack pick more speed so enemies so we attack first. Yeah, sure Let's see if I can get some boots or something useful Just spell use gain speed gain a plus one of the highest primary stat and reduce health on kill that sounds hilarious Also, we got to get rid of that The only immediate problem is losing a lot of my HP is kind of bad Go for the heal five on dungeon exit. And let's go reckless. I've also got an exit, which I can use. Quite well here. I definitely need some defense though. Let me take a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna boost my defense a bunch. Because these suckers are dicey. Just create an exit. Go here. Okay, he's just dead. Perfect. Take a look. Okay, so this guy is not that damaging. I got parries on my side, and please give me something amazing. Uh, freeze front cards, which is really good after you spell your skin defense. I'm gonna go for the icy touch. Oh, I can just kill these guys. Perfect. Because that means I can get over here, kill this one. We still got this guy, but I don't want to do too much with him. Do I want the onion armor? It reduces my attack. Here, let's just freeze it. Okay, do I bother with anything else? I'm gonna move here. Kill him first. And I'm not gonna bother with that. That was a little risky for no good reason, but that's fine. Also, Shrine of Sacrifice, which I don't think I care about too much.
I know that gives me something cool. Poison Fiend. Poison damage taken is capped to two per turn. Reduces my max health by two. Gives me some defense. I'm going to grab that. We'll heal up a bit. That seems good. Bandana is good damage, though. Which, like, bit of a bit of a sad. Now, fundamentally, this is a problem. Should be able to just stealth past most of these dudes. There we go. They're not dangerous enough to stop me. That's for certain. There we go. Okay. Now I'm in a good spot. Let's grab that. Go here. Sweet bombs, dude. There we go. So my damage being really low is not actually as much of a problem anymore. Uh, am I still sacrificing HP? No, I didn't end up picking that up. Do I want to go for HP? No, let's go for some clarity. But yeah, me not doing a whole lot of damage here is actually kind of useful as it just kind of deletes foes across the map. Uh, let's see, do we just keep pushing defense? Sure. I've never actually done a true turtle build. Okay, heal three for every negative point of clarity on dungeon exit, or reduce parry damage taken by two when below 24% health. That's be that's better? It does cost me a lot of clarity though, but it's better. We really need a new mask, please. Ranged creatures won't attack you. Hell yeah. That gets me a shit ton of speed. What's my curse resistance? Reasonably high. Why did I do that? I guess it didn't matter. Okay. Morphous Blob. Perilous Intent. Nah, we just heal. We're good. Okay, let's take a look. I think I'm just gonna have to fight these guys. Luckily, they're not that damaging. I've got a decent parry chance here. Okay, I'm gonna freeze both of these and hit this one. Freeze you too, hit this one. Because I don't want to fight the Bomba. You can go here for a second. Hit him. Because, yeah, we've got the Exploders. And I don't actually want to fight them. Let's just freeze this. There we go. Okay, we've got that. We can fight Weird Dog Beast. It leaves. Yes. Okay, let's go back over here. If I hit this... I do not take damage. But if I fight that one, I po I possibly die. So let's not. Uh, do you want to gain some damage? Because I could just go for max health. Except for this is just an allocation. It's not actually a gain. So let's skip that. It's not worth it. What do we do next? Uh, do I buy a blue? Yeah, I'll buy a blue. We'll see what we can, we can get. Gain knockback, heal two on kill. I love living corset, however, not useful for me here. Lose a bit of defense, gain four clarity, some HP, and gain souls on parry. Five max per creature. Let's grab that. It just feels like this is a decent defense run, so I might as well. What is Owl? The part of you you wish to forg- uh, wait. The part of you, you which you forget all the worst things you beget. I think I want to kill the owl on this run, which is a little dicier. Hey, these guys are new. I like them. What about this guy? Shit, dude, hurts. Got a 58% chance. The stealth. There we go. So they can fight these guys. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just going to hit this one. Okay, then he blows up. Less of a problem. Go here. Kind of same deal. I got a lot of parries and dodges, which makes my life a lot easier. Now I'm going to allocate for defense. And then it's just these two. Uh, and no potions either, which is dicey. Okay. Gain clarity. We have that. We have a scroll. Scroll is a fully heal. Soul feud would be great. Okay. And him again. He can't kill me. And then I leave. We do have companions, we have a volatile, and we have an overwhelm. I don't have enough money for legendary, but we're getting very close, so I probably should. So, volatile is interesting. I feel like overwhelm is maybe more viable for me. Or I die. Ranged creatures can't attack me on this map, so that's actually really useful. And these ones are intimidate because I need to have 16 speed to take him on. Okay. Okay, after spell use, he'll uh, deal 5 soul damage to front cards. Tempting, tempting. We lose a little bit of speed, we gain some damage. And we gain a lot of clarity. I'll grab it. I haven't used it before. I think I'm going to freeze that guy, which actually just deletes him. Okay. There we go. 100% parry rate, so even though my damage is shit, I can use this to effectively just delete most of these foes. Uh, except for the spookers, I can't do anything to them. Well, I kind of can. But not that one. Regarding the exit, but that's not a huge issue for me. We also have an upgrade scroll. Ooh. I'll think about that one in a second. I no longer have the thorns. So I'll probably just have to sneak past. Is my base answer here. I mean, I guess I can kill that guy. Oh, we can just mix it up. Uh, bit of a wash on that one. But I want to grab the upgrade scroll. And we're just going to cycle and just escape. I could go for another epic item, but I think I want to wait. Hi. This looks like a doozy and a half. A lot of reasons. to freeze both of them. Oh, which does not cause them to explode in my face. Well, that's handy. And we get a free legendary out of all of this. Move away from creature on attack, or destroy an equipped item, gain its primary stats. Eat. Oh, I can eat anything. Eat Soul Claw. I will just consume my items. Let's start with that. Its special features aren't that great. It's good, but I don't care that much. I should have eaten my stealth amulet. Well, who knows? I think I, I think I can actually trigger it. Perfect, perfect. Uh, let's quaff a potion first. I'll live. Okay, now we want to eat the amulet. To get this amulet. Heal 5 on crit. It's useful. And we also have a scroll to unlock a chest. Let's just pop upgrade now. I could have saved it for later, but I'm not that interested in it at the moment. Unlock a chest. Uh, I might want to save that. Okay, killed them both. I think that healed me too. Nice. This is working shocking, shockingly well, all things considered. 
That's a good stat stick. Oh, but it's too expensive for me. Never mind. Alright, let's take a look at this. So... Gain defense, lose anything else. Gain more defense. You will not touch me. I will parry you. Oh. Big downer, we do have a bad boy there. Okay. I'm just gonna sneak past. Okay, then I'm gonna... Do we hit him once? No. I think we go here. Fight this guy. Eat. Oh, I, do, I don't know what I'd be eating. Is the question. I guess I should probably just eat anything that I currently do not need. Uh, let's eat hand of dog. Let's pop this open. And what do we get? Deal soul. Uh, soul gain is random soul damage to damaged creatures. I mean, that's really good. We lose some of our healing, but that is very good. Rip Fairy, Soul Hourglass. Spawn a frog, deal 25 damage to all friendly creatures' neighbors. Interesting. Okay, let's go fight a black hole, if I can. Okay, do we? No, because ultimately the damage that this guy does is inconsequential, especially because my crit chance is, is so high. This guy is my best possible bet for getting all my souls back. Which, speaking of, I think... I think he is going up in soul. I really do need to up my damage, though. I'm gonna grab one more of these, get a point in clarity. Would have liked some damage here, but whatever. There we go. Boy, those do more and more damage. A little bit of base damage would actually be rather handy. That cannon will kill me. But on the flip side, like it's working. I just have to be insanely careful. I don't think this is gonna work against the owl, but you also, n you never know. Like with these builds, they could be anything. Oh, should I eat something? I might eat the visionary. Revealing all cards is nice. But it doesn't go that far. There we go. They're dead. And let's keep going clarity. Because the higher my soul gain, the more deadly that, that super nuke becomes. Biggest immediate problem remains, I don't do damage. Alright, I should get sneak by. Okay, 100% chance to gain 2 damage. That should go reasonably far. Get a legendary item. Please be something amazing. Freeze creature when hit. Good da good damage. Great stat stick. I like the freeze when hit though, but... I don't know. De decent stat stick. I'll think about it. Ooh. I'm gonna grab Bombard. Everything explodes. I could have saved that. But I think that was fine. Ooh. Good shield. 10% parry chance. We do lose the Extractor. 
Um. Shoot. Which is better? Because the parrying shield gives me 10% parry chance, which means more parries. We don't gain the soul gain, but that doesn't do that much damage. Unless I had plus soul damage, at which point that becomes absurd. Oh, it's an equipped item. Damn it. So the question is, do I want to be able to parry even better, or do I want to... try and keep this strategy. I, uh, I'm torn. Let's see what else we got on this map. I don't think I have anything else to eat, which is the problem. We have an Embracing Chaos, a Reprieve. Now nah, we eat it. I was hoping we get some more loot, but it's fine. The extra parry chance should keep me alive longer. Let's dive into an Embracing Chaos, which really is just utter nonsense. Destroy an equipped item, gain its primary stats, and soul cost. Ooh, might be good to get rid of the boots. I'm just going to do it now. See, see what else we get. Tipping point. Creatures with less than 25% health are frozen on hit. Eh, tempting. Reduce piercing damage taken by one. Yes. That might actually be one of those that we want to hold on to, to be honest. I probably should stop hitting that dude. On the flip side... This is preventing me from getting absolutely clobbered as far as poison damage goes. What do we feel about this dude? He's eaten my book. Which I consider to be quite unacceptable, all things considered. But that's okay. Boy, this crit this crit healing choker is actually like absurd. Was, is that the only treasure chest we had on the entire map? Huh. Guess it was. Alright. Alright. Anything I want to eat. Not overwhelmingly. Memoir Brittle Wreath. Grab that. Loosen damage, gain speed, and health. No. Come on. You can do better than this. Freeze on parry is kind of tempting. Stone Caller is... I don't know if it's better, but I'm going to grab it. Okay. I kind of don't want to truck with those. Now, I see a dude that summons exploders, but that's not really much of a problem for me. Now, do I fight this thing? Yeah. I'm gonna take that, because every time I get poisoned... It's really kind of a non-issue for me. There we go, and the Cascade works out. We got another one of these guys. Because, yeah, the poison damage I take is capped to one. There we go. Which means all I have to do is just stick around, let the crits heal me, and then just not die. Speaking of, let's get some more in clarity. And do we get a legendary item? Yes. Please give me a good stat stick or something amazing. <sighs> what is that? Dodge chance. Which is good, but I don't think I actually get to keep it. Anyway, I'm going to eat the polearm. Uh, let's go to a crossroads. See what we get along the way. I love this game. Every, every single time I play it, it's just... Stuff gets out of hand, and it's just kind of beautiful. Ah, uh, do I just fight this sucker? Because he can't hurt me and he does a little bit of poison damage. I don't know if we have anything else that's much of a worry. He's taking my armor, which is a little annoying. But 
But yeah, next part is that petrification. Very glad I picked that up. It's not much, but it's enough to cascade effects and destroy. Okay, so we've got a legendary. I don't have any good stat sticks at the moment. Transform on parry? Nah. Game plus one in the creature's highest stat every three kills. I love that. The only downside is that it is too late for this to be useful. I would have to kill 18 creatures just to break even effectively. And I want this item, but I want it so much earlier than this. Let's grab the Screamer. Chain 5 damage to two creatures behind the target. That might actually be something I want to hold on to. Uh, some of that. Kill those because I'm a monster. Grab this. Weaken? No. Upgrade. And chug a lug because of reasons untold. And this should be boss time? It is. Okay, cool. How do I want to do this? Probably kind of bide my time for a moment. Okay, skip those because they can explode in my face and I want nothing to do with it. Uh, let's see. Go here. The cascade effect on this build is very strange. But quite effective? Like, I'm not... I haven't paid enough attention to what I'm doing to have a clear grasp on the math. About my general effectiveness. Ooh, channeling kilts. What is this? Curse resistance and crit chance versus healing effects restore double the amount. It's nice. It's good. It does hurt my defense, though. I really wish I could eat items as I went by. That would be kind of lovely in its own right. All right. One way or another, I'm going to grab this. Gain some more stats. It's not really a defensive run in retrospect, but at the same time, as far as runs go, this one is a fair spot more defensive than I usually go. I'm usually going for speed and damage so I can just yeet things into the into non-existence. And rarely do I just tank hits and go for high parry. So I want to douse the flame, let shadow rain, which I think pisses off the owl. Yep, there we go. After all you chose defiance, why would you break our alliance? Betrayal's cast is far from free. Show yourself, and now you'll see me. Oh, show yourself, now you'll see me. I love this bird. It's just so creepy. I love this game. Like, I can come back to it every couple of weeks and just be like, yeah, it's just solid. It will never not be that way. Music's pretty good, too. So the big doozy is, he's a tanky sucker. However, now that he's injured, all of the soul gain that I, I gain is applied to him in damage. Now let's see what I can get. I could use boots. I wonder if I can cast this. Nah, I wish I could cast while I was just looking at this. Boots, dodge, dodge. Dodge inflicts five curse to the creature dodge. That's fascinating. Ah, tipping point. Creatures with less than 25% HP are frozen. I'll take it. I don't have much I can do here, and this sucker hurts. There we go. I guess I could have put that off, but that's fine. Grab that. Okay, he's summoning even more, which is good. I gotta go this way. That's a lot of explodies. Like, actually, what the hell? Uh. 
I'm just gonna do that because otherwise everything explodes in my face. Like actually, actually, sir, what? Okay, then keep escaping. Okay, just hit these guys. I'm very glad I've got the heal on crit and then a, enough uh, crit chance to actually make something of that. Drick's gonna get, just start nuking me. It's fine. Now, is he taking damage here? I don't know. It's certainly working out for me. They've updated this fight, so it's a little different from what it used to be, and I rather appreciate it. Okay, it's loose now. I also see a candle thing. This is about where I want to be. Okay. Keep going with clarity. Okay, that's going to hurt me. Boop. Okay, Owl is having a day. There we go, he's escaped. Shouldn't actually do too much of that, but that's okay. Owl is stunned, Owl is down, and has been wrecked. That's a good run. I enjoy eating spears. <laughs> I, some of these items I really wish I could start with, you know, get so much sooner, because these runs are just a little too short, and, like, I feel like if I'd been able to get the sword munching book comboed with the monster munching book, oh, can you imagine? That'd be such a good, like, just pure devourer run. Oh, well, I still don't understand. Maybe then you never will, a mystery that lingers still. Challenge increases, item will appear. Owl is gone, but cannot die. Waiting, watching, keep inside. I don't, I'm just going to skip this. I've seen this before. Deep within the Ring of Pain, the cycle is complete again. I still can't get over the fact that this is one of those games that, like, I legitimately thought was going to be kind of eh. And then it turned out to be, like, actually one of the best games I've ever played. And one of my favorite games to just come back to. Because with most roguelikes and whatnot, there's kind of that feeling of, uh... Rustiness, like when you come back to it, it takes a couple of runs before you're you're good to go and can do another run. This one, it's just like, hey, it's Ring of Pain time. Hey, you won. Cool. It's all knowledge, some level of actually a decent amount of RNG, and an amount of skill, but none of it is like pure gameplay focused. And I I really dig that. But with all of that said, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Ring of Pain whenever that happens. For now, though, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.